Sicily was a partly Carthaginian territory and key for their naval domination of the Mediterranean. The policy of Carthage was to foment regional unrest in Sicily, to prevent a single leader unifying the island against Carthage. The clashes between Carthage and the Greek city-states of Sicily attracted the attention of Rome. In the 3rd century BC, the Roman Republic crossed the Messina Straits to support the Mamertines. These were the mercenaries formerly employed by Agathocles. The initial clashes between the Romans and the Carthaginians, who were also supported by Hero II, the Greek Sicilian leader of Syracuse, favoured the more experienced Carthaginian navy led by Hamilcar Barca. This would change over time. In 263 BC, Hiero II switched sides and agreed to support Rome to keep his position, providing money, grain and siege weapons. This support was pivotal in the Roman campaign against the Carthaginian base at Agrigentum, Agrigento, in 262 BC. This escalated into the First Punic War. Hamilcar won the battles at Drapana, but was hampered by supply lines and a lack of support from Carthage. By 241 BC, the Romans ended the First Punic War with a naval victory at the Battle of Aegates. To learn more about La Bella Sicilia, consider subscribing. The First Punic War had a catastrophic impact on Sicily. Both Rome and Carthage committed atrocities. The people of Agrigentum, Camarina and Panormus, Palermo, were massacred. Agrigentum and Salinas, Salinunte, was destroyed by the Romans. Lilibium survived a ten-year Roman siege. The region known as Sicilia was Roman, except for Syracuse, the city of Hiero and this kept a measure of independence and influence across southern eastern Sicily. Throughout this era, Sicilia was governed from two centres, Syracuse in the east and Lilibium in the west. The victories of Hannibal, the Carthaginian, during the Second Punic War on the Italian mainland triggered a further Sicilian uprising against Roman rule. At the same time, Carthage was continuing to ferment unrest in Syracuse against the Romans. The young grandson of Hiero II, Hieronymus, decided to switch allegiance to the Carthaginians. The Romans suffered huge losses taking Syracuse, partly due to the defences invented by Archimedes. Eventually, Syracuse was defeated in 212 BC. Syracuse was brutally sacked. Many people died, including Archimedes. Yes, he of Eureka fame. Syracuse became the capital of Sicily and the seat of government. Agrigentum finally fell to the Romans in 210 BC through an act of betrayal. The Romans had driven Carthage from the Roman region of Sicilia. Sicilia was an agricultural area, its grain fields the breadbasket of Rome. All of Sicilia's agricultural trade and output was now directed towards Rome. The Roman rulers were violent, overbearing and triggered numerous uprisings. The First Servile War was led by Antiochus Eunus from Enna, a slave uprising, and despite many victories, Tauromenium and Enna fell in 132 BC and the slaves were crucified. The Second Servile War was led by Athenio and Salvius Tryphon. It was eventually put down by Manius Aquilus. In 82 BC, the general Pompey was sent to Sicily to restart the grain supply to Rome. 
the notorious corruption, extortion and robbery of the Roman governor Verres had a number of consequences. He implemented the Roman grain tax for his own personal benefit and was also partial to stealing both religious and artistic works. This led to a famous trial and ultimately he was exiled. None of the stolen artefacts were returned to Sicily. The island of Sicily was always strategically important in the Mediterranean. Julius Caesar recognised this and used Lilibium to attack Pompey's interests in North Africa. The assassination of Julius Caesar in 44 BC also had consequences for Sicily. Pompey blockaded the passage of grain to Rome from Sicily, forcing Rome to grant him control of Sicily, Sardinia and Corsica. In return, Sextus Pompey ended the blockade. Peace quickly descended into war on land and at sea, devastating Sicily again, particularly Tindaris and Messana. A Roman fleet retook Mile, Milazzo, Tindaris, Tindari, and Messana, Messina. Overall control of Sicily was re-established at the naval battle of Regium, but won at the battle of Naulocus. Octavian imposed heavy financial penalties on Sicily and demanded the return of slaves, some of whom were executed. Octavian was soon confirmed as sole ruler of the Roman Republic and renamed Augustus. Augustus established Roman colonies ruled by loyal subjects across Sicily. Sicilian cities were devastated, land abandoned or confiscated by Augustus, the spoils of war. Other farmland was granted to those who had proved loyal to Augustus. The influx of people of Italian descent began to change the Greek influence on the island of Sicily. The agricultural produce of Sicily continued to be sent to Rome, such as grain, olive oil and wine, by privileged families. Sicily underwent economic collapse. The general population suffered and the countryside was abandoned and left to exiles, slaves and bandits. The main languages of Sicilia was Greek, with other languages spoken in rural areas. The Roman influx brought Latin, and Latin-Greek bilingualism was common. Latin slowly replaced Greek, although Latin was largely used by wealthy families. It is said Paul of Tarsus landed in Syracuse on his way to Rome. There is evidence of both Jewish and Christian communities from around AD 200. There are also early references to Roman persecution of Christians around 250 AD. St Agatha of Catania and St Lucia of Syracuse were early Christian martyrs. It is noticeable as to how many patron saints are women, including St Rosalia of Palermo. Rural and agricultural Sicily was rejuvenated in the 4th century due to the new trade links with Africa. The consequence to Sicily was that Rome had less reliance on Sicily's agricultural produce. Wealthy and aristocratic Roman families were moving to Sicily and embellishing their residences there. This brought a greater urban Roman influence to Sicily which you can find at Villa Romana del Casale, Villa Romana del Tellaro and Villa Romana di Patti. Large landowners brought out neighbouring farms and the population were left to starve as they had neither food nor work. Some aristocratic families also had the luck of paying no taxes. The 5th century saw the Roman Empire being attacked by multiple foreign tribes. The Visigoths, led by Alaric, sacked Rome in 410. 
Alaric's plans to storm Sicily failed as his fleet perished in a storm in the Straits of Messina. In 476, the last Western Roman Emperor, Romulus Augustulus, surrendered to Odoasa. In this period, Sicily was a safe haven where wealthy families, refugees and the clergy fled. Genseric, the Vandal, directed piracy raids on the Sicilian coast from Africa. Sicily was eventually reunited with Italy in 476 by Odoasa. What are the key Roman sites in Sicily? Syracuse was a seat of Roman power, the capital of Sicily, and retains a Roman amphitheatre. Lilibium, Marsala, was a seat of Roman power with a large Roman colony. Panormus, Palermo, was a Carthaginian city which fell to the Roman fleet in 254. Catania retains a Roman theatre and the remains of an aqueduct. Centuripe, near Enna, was destroyed by Pompey, but has the ruins of a Roman mausoleum. Tauromenium was the focus of the First Servile War and retains a Roman gate and the fabulous Greco-Roman theatre. Messana, Messina, was the focus of almost every military campaign in Sicily. Thermae Himerae, now Termini Himerese, was where the Romans were crushed by Hamilcar in 260 BC.